Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And here we have a AT&T slash FirstNet update, network update. And this is in regards to FirstNet building with AT&T connecting more first responders across Minnesota. So the AT&T FirstNet coverage has also allowed, of course, the AT&T consumer to take advantage of this newfound coverage across you know, nationwide. As long as you have a band 14 capable device, you have been able to take advantage of the new coverage that AT&T has been building since around 2017 and, and still going, right? They, they built out new coverage in 2021, in 2022. And as you can see, this article is from January 27th, 2023. They are continuing to build and expand the network. So I'll leave this article in the description down below so you guys could check it out where these new cell sites launched. For example, the the uh, on December 14th, a new FirstNet cell site launches in Grant Rapids and then another one launches near Deer. So they've AT&T has been busy in its own right and I've always maintained the position that Verizon's biggest threat would be AT&T in terms of the money that's being spent, the revenue that they're taking in, the profits that they make. But I've also maintained my position that AT&T is just not as focused on wireless as they could be. You know, but since they still have to invest heavily on fiber to get that going and of course grow and scale that footprint. But the fact that AT&T has received a solid amount of reimbursements from the government for this build out shows you that they are still deploying that even now in 2023 it will continue maybe not at the same rate or pace or even scale that they were deploying but they are launching new sites just about on a monthly basis so make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for more like share subscribe follow my social media outlets this is tyrone with tech life see y'all in the next one peace